finished my first semester at Chamberlain. I am completely done with it. I finished, so I had a nursing class and then I had one core class. And yes, I took my prereqs, but there were some that I didn't know were required, which are, which is another great reason why I'm so glad I chose to go to Chamberlain because one of the ones I took was critical thinking. I wasn't aware that critical thinking was considered a nursing school prereq. No, I didn't do all this extensive research in nursing school and seeing what the prereqs were for Chamberlain and things like that. I did the general prereqs. My sciences, my math, my reading and things like that. So yes, I did not know. Be better than me, do more research. Um, I finished critical thinking with a 90.43. And I finished my transition into nursing class. That was my very first ever nursing class with a 92. So I barely got an A because as you know, at Chamberlain, or as you may not know, at Chamberlain, a 91 is considered a B when you're in a nursing class. A 91 is a B. So I got my A. I'm not sure of my GPA yet. I have to go and wait on them to calculate it, but I'm hoping that I did great. I got two A's. I'm trying to maintain at least a 3.5. Even when I start like the really hard classes, I'm trying to maintain at least a 3.5. I'm trying to keep my grade point average at a 3.5. I can still graduate with honors with that. But I want to give you guys my honest and total complete review of Chamberlain. I have no complaints right now. And I said that because my teacher quit week six. Was it week six? Yes, my teacher quit week six and we had two weeks left and we had to do them with sit-in instructors and how instructors and how well they handled it was everything to me because we still got everything we needed to know. We were still taught, we were still groomed, we were still given knowledge, we even got to meet more people. I think at one point the dean taught one of our classes, which I thought was they get it done. No matter what, they made sure there was someone there to help us without overloading another teacher. So to me, that was that was very good. I also have never used the cast deal, but I've been dipping in and out of it just because they offer study material for the whole entire school. For classes I haven't took, for classes I'm gonna take, like for classes I've already took, I like, I wanna say I have like four or six prereqs left. Nothing major, just things like interpersonal communications, culture and society, stuff like that. Things I didn't take because like I said, I didn't know they were required. So, I'm completing my prereqs along with my nursing classes. That's another thing I like about churching. Chamberlain, not churching. I don't even know what churching is. But that's another thing I like about Chamberlain is you're going to get their best as long as you give your best. And there are so many resources that you can reach out and use. And your teachers really are there to help you. Um, I did bad on one assignment and it was because I really didn't understand the assignment, but I also didn't speak up. But my teacher still gave me the credit that he could give me and then we went over the assignment so for the future I could have better understanding. Don't get me wrong. If you don't ask, you're not going to know these things. You didn't ask. It's not like <clears throat> they can read your mind and they just know that you needed help or something. And that was my fault. But when I did communicate that I didn't understand, we talked it out. It was explained to me. Everything was understood. So I can honestly say going in, I still have no complaints. I've heard so many crazy things about Chamberlain where the teachers don't care about you. They give you classes that are hard. Ooh. And in the beginning, if you guys would have asked me if I liked my advisor, I would have told you no. That's where Chamberlain drops the ball. On advisors. 100%. And that's the person who helps you get your schedule, who helps you get enrolled. <coughs> who helps you with your financial aid. That's the person who does everything. But I think they recently hired more people. So I have an amazing advisor now. He responds to my emails. That didn't happen in the beginning. He helps me get everything set up. He answers any questions that I have. I am also a GI Bill student. So if you don't know what that means, I'm a veteran and the Marine Corps pays for my schooling because I served four years active and four years inactive in the reserves so that's how I get my school fully covered and paid for 
and I didn't know how that worked with Chamberlain because I was afraid that I wasn't going to get my full benefits because it's only two classes at a time but that does not matter it's structured that way even for GI Bill students so that you get all of your benefits and you're maximizing your benefits so I thought that was super cool because this was also my first semester experience and that I've never just taken two classes and the course law for these well I took three but FAFSA only FAFSA and my GI Bill covered too and no I don't need FAFSA with my GI Bill they cover everything but when you apply for FAFSA and you have a GI Bill it just it comes back to you and that's the truth it's like free money with my money I invest I save and I'm gonna have to pay for my last year of Chamberlain I think I'll still be eligible for FAFSA then, but I'll basically be able to use that extra money I got to pay for that if I don't get my GI Bill extended with the vocational rehab. And if you guys have any questions about anything I'm asking, if any other veteran is watching it and want to know exactly what I'm talking about, please just leave a comment or DM me and I will 100% answer these questions because we got to stick together and we got to let each other know what resources are available to veterans. So yes. All of that has been super smooth for me now. Even my registration advisor wasn't that bad. Like he answered all the questions that he could answer for me always. But you don't use your registration person anymore once you have to register for classes and things like that. So I thought that was cool. Um, what else, what else? My next two classes, just so you guys know, are the interpersonal communications in culture and society i do not have a nursing class this semester my next nursing class is next semester um so i get a semi break on the fact that if i get a 91 i'll still have an a <laughs> i get a little break but from what i've seen because i am in week one of my new classes from what i've seen of these classes is the course load at chamberlain is it's gonna be heavy each class has three to four assignments due every week and you have to read one sometimes four chapters for the class and I think it's gonna always be heavy because it's eight weeks of a class and most semesters aren't just eight weeks so if you're planning on Chamberlain do know that your your workload is gonna be your workload I also have this really neat binder that I'm using to freshen up on my anatomy continue to study because from my understanding in nursing school you really really need to understand anatomy and it was a while for me when I took anatomy it was almost a year ago and I don't have to take it at Chamberlain so I just want to brush up on my, on my knowledge and make sure I know everything and I have a good understanding for everything so I am doing that I may not share the binder this video with you guys but I will definitely share my binder with you guys I got it from nurse Angie on Etsy she has an Etsy shop and I got it from her Etsy shop and I found out about her from her Facebook group and it's just a group with nursing students and nurses that really help you if you need help they provide help and all these other things and with everything going on you know it's time to vote for early elections and things like that I need all the help I can get so I bought her pre-nursing binder and I also bought her nursing school binder because she has backed her binder with the fact that she graduated with honors and she is a certified medical surgical nurse yeah she just got that certification and she said that she made all A's and B's throughout nursing school and she turned her notes into a business and by turning her notes into a business I was able to buy them and I'll be able to study her notes when I get to those classes um but my review of Chamberlain. It has been great. I have no complaints. I did have some complaints and my only complaint was about the student advisor. They have fixed that. That has been corrected. It's awesome now. His name is Billy. So if you're applying to Chamberlain and you get Billy, he's nice. He's awesome. He's cool dude. I like Billy. But thank you guys for watching this video. If, I, if you have any questions about Chamberlain that I didn't ask, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and ask me. So... I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.